All right, how's it going, everyone? I'm the Emerald Raider, and I'm joined by... The Jade Elf. And where we last left off, we had just survived this fucking uh, demonic icker. Why has he got a demonic icker on him? We survived these uh, Kunari mercenaries. Made us waste a whole lot of our freaking... Uh, Poultices. Poultices, yeah. So hopefully they got some good loots. Fire arrow. That's pretty good. White wood bow. And so I saw me. I could do that for you. Longbow. Anything That's else it? hidden here? Dude. Is this better than what you have? It is not. Is this better than what you have? It is. But you need a little bit more dexterity, like two more dexterity. Wait, it doesn't it say more 20? More fire arrows. Yeah, she's got 26 dexterity. Oh. Oh, right. Also, I need to freaking... Before I do that, Raider, make freaking poultices. <laughs> uh, funny. Oh, because we have all of the all the flasks. We have 60 flasks left. Yeah, now we just need uh, some different ingredients. Anyway, let's keep moving forward, huh? Not into the Brazilian forest. Oh, Br Brazilian Br oh, outskirts? Yeah, Brazilian outskirts. Where are we going? We're going to Ostagar, right? Ostagar, then the Gollum, then the Urn of Sacred Ashes. Right. Wait, why weren't we going through oh, the Brazilian shit. forest we first? We go through there. That's, oh, we're about to hit something, aren't elves, we? That's the elves, that's the... Urn of Sacred Ashes, and that's the dwarves. You said you wanted to do the Urn of Sacred Ashes before the elves, right? Yep. Dang, run into all the people. Okay, these look like they're gonna go down a lot, a lot more, a lot quicker than the Punari that we just attacked. Yeah, they're pretty weak to, to fire. To the dark spawn, they sure know how to make a place feel desolate and foreboding. Oh, this is true. Oh shit, hold on. Alistair had made a very good point last time. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Ooh. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Ooh, yeah. If you must, can we discuss it another time? What did you find? What did you find? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. So it was for nothing? Yet you look disturbed. Disappointed then? Uh, yet you look disturbed. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Oh, a spell for immortality. That should prove itself useful, no? Let me guess. She drinks blood, eats children. That was my personal guess. That's why I guess. Um, a spell for immortality? Oh, if only it were so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Oh, Morgan, you're done for. Are you certain about this? So is Flemeth immortal or not? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. So why would she risk sending you with me? So what do you intend to do about it? And you had no idea? I'm so sorry. Um, Why would she risk sending you with me? I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. Wow. So if you died, she would have another daughter. Um, are you certain about this? Is Flemeth or more? So if you died, she would have another daughter? Not by any natural means. 
Perhaps I should take this as a vote of confidence from her on my capabilities? Or perhaps she simply wished me gone from the Kokari Wilds so she could prepare her ritual in peace? A disturbing Oh, thought. that sucks. Um, are you certain about this? Indeed. That is primarily what this tome details. The various daughters that Flemeth has acquired. Their preparation and training. I recognize all of it. I am to be her next host. This is my purpose. Oh, man. So is she immortal? Whatever spark of the demon that made her what she is remains within her, keeps her from dying of old age, but her body deteriorates. Eventually, she would be so wizened as to be senseless and immobile. So she must seek a new body, a fresh body, and start the cycle anew. Hmm, can this body be anyone or must it be a daughter? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Uh, yeah, can this be body be anyone? I am uncertain. According Why, to are you planning writings, to sacrifice somebody to her? <laughs> than others. The more a host is prepared, the quicker the transition will be. I am sorry. This simply takes me by surprise. I would have thought I would have had some inkling, some notion. Aw, she's so sad. Um... You really had no idea? You and Flemeth were hardly friendly. No one thinks the worst of their own mother. I would feel the same. What an awful thought. Um, no one thinks the worst of their own mother. Flemeth is no doting mother. She is an abomination and a sorceress, and I should have at least suspected something. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. So what do you intend to do about it? And you had no idea? I'm so sorry. And what does this have to do with me? Um... What do you intend to... Oh, wait. I, and you had no idea? I'm so sorry. Do not be sorry. I am not. I am angry. There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth <laughs> needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Perhaps you should talk to her about it first. Kill Perhaps you should talk to her about this first. Kill Flemeth? Isn't that a little extreme? Why do you need my help? Can't this, can this not wait until another time? Forget it. I'm not going to help you kill your mother. Very well. I'll help you if I can. Uh, why do you need my help? Because if she is slain while I am near, I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously I cannot be the one to do it. Oh. Perhaps you should talk to her about it first. And what would that do? At best, I would receive pointless reassurances. At worst, Flemeth would imprison me once she became aware I know what I do. I know That's my true. mother well enough to be confident she would show no mercy when it came to her own survival. I must do the same. That's true. Honestly, like, she's killed and overtaken so many women by now. Now the question is, is she telling us the truth or does she just want to use us to kill her mom? <gasps> Wow, I did not even think about that. I was just like, oh, Morgan, I totally trust you. You got this. <laughs> um. Very well, I'll help you. Then what needs to be done? I honestly don't, don't really mind. In the Kakari wilds without I don't know if Flemeth too well. Her and slay her quickly. I doubt she would what would be funny is that Morgan's already Flemeth take her years to find a new and she left Morgan in her body if that is even possible mm. and she wants Morgan to have is her true grimoire with it I can defend against her power in the future everything else in her heart is yours ah so she doesn't actually want to kill her she's like she won't stay dead for long she'll I'm sure she'll come back some way but at least I could get her book and protect myself so she's like ah just go and <laughs> maim her a little bit <laughs> <laughs> wow do i have a time limit on this are you serious kill flemeth the witch of the wild it sounds like you just want someone to do your dirty work i'll see what i can do um do i have a time limit not really but the sooner the better no um are you serious <laughs> <laughs> she 
she would like everyone to think she is invincible, but I highly doubt that is the case. And besides Dude, she's that, been alive forever. Killing her. She's seen and done so much. Morgan, you so full of shit. I've seen what she is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll see what I can do. I know you've seen what she is. I am grateful. <laughs> The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. And what she is is someone that's not to be fucked with. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Alistair had a very good point the last time we talked about go maybe returning to Ostagar. He's talked about bringing Wynn along since we were, we were there together. So yes. we'll take Alistair, yes. Wynn, and Liliana. <laughs> If if we were actually in person, Morgan would be like, "Oh, is it because I just asked you to call my mom?" And seriously, <laughs> <laughs> and literally, we're right next to her hut anyway, so we we'll might as well do the Ostagar thing and then go see if we can mess with Flemeth. Though, oh god, I don't know how powerful she is. So you don't know, she's super so I, I, powerful. I didn't fight her in my playthrough. No, no, because I didn't finish it, so I was scared of her and I waited. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just makes me feel better about my decision i mean i think i think it's the right decision yeah but what if like you said she was lying we haven't seen this book that says she doesn't know we're there to kill her when we get there she, we can just you know be like ask her stuff i bet she could tell though from people just like you can t people have tells you know i don't know i've grown paranoid of tv shows and games all right let's go ahead and continue first though we have to go ahead and bring our dog back As you desire. Oh, it's a good thing I used it. <laughs> Infirmary. Oh, that's where we are. Oh, there's a pile of sock rags. A raven? The oh, fuck? Are you gonna kill it? No clue. Okay. Hi, raven. It says that you can click on it, but that's it. Oh, are those human? Oh, no. Why are there so many sacks? That's weird. Wooden crate. Thank you. Wait, where the heck are we supposed to go? Wait, we're in Ostagar already? Yeah. Maybe destroy one of those walls? Nope. Don't have that option. Huh. Up there, maybe? Maybe. What the heck is that? Is that a horse? Enemies? Those are dark spawn, yeah. Ah! Oof. Alistair's at half. Wynn is under half. Oh, it's because there's a mage back there. You see him? Yeah. I tried to earthquake him, but he fireballed us before I could earthquake him. <laughs> Wynn, hide. You can do better. Oh, bastard. Another fireball. Oh, <gasps> win. Oh, that was too, just a second too late. 
gosh. Well, that's what we get for not uh, taking care of the spellcaster first thing first. Alistair's killing them, though. Okay, our dog. Save our dog. Get executed, bitch. Win, get your ass up. <laughs> Ooh, Kaylin's Greaves. Greaves? Um, his shoes. Oh. They took his Jordans and we just got them back. <laughs> to find this here. Poured over by dark spawn and thick with their rot. It was his. I know. I feel it too. Oh, your brother? But he is not the first king to ever fall in battle. Or even the first to fall to the darkspawn. Yes, but this wound cuts deeper. And it will bleed longer. But we must keep moving. No doubt the darkspawn are eager to give us plenty more reasons to mourn. The Joining Chalice. What is that? Oh, a gift. I wonder who wants it. Oh, it says dark. Read it to read. Oh. It has a whole little paragraph on it. Of yeah, it was the dark spawn cup thing that we drank out of. Oh, was it a gift for? For Alistair. <laughs> ah. Okay, remember how I joined? I could have died, but I didn't. <laughs> he also I joined know. and could have died and he didn't. Oh dear God! Wow. Where's the spellcaster at? Maybe you have to take like two steps closer. Watch out! Fireball and win. Forge master. There doesn't seem to be a spellcaster here, so wind doesn't have fireball. <laughs> she just has earthquake. Ah. So that might have been a bad idea. Send her up by herself. Wow, they're just coming in a big old horde. Dick. I say horde, but there's like ten of them. Yeah, the, the <laughs> earthquake actually did a lot of good. You see him over there? Yeah. Okay, we're all doing good. The only one who's taking some big damage is our dog, but he's recovering now. Earthquake was 100% to play. Oh, save our dog. He's at less than half. Where's your heal at? Oh, there it is. See what happens when there's no one to throw a fucking fireball at your face? <laughs> Who the fuck is shooting us? Oh. Get him! This forge master is interfering with our looting. For that, he dies. Oh, there's more coming behind us. Holy shit. I need to quickly identify if there are any spellcasters with them, because goddamn. What now? So what, it'll say spellcaster? No, they, they got names and staffs. I didn't see any staffs. Okay, Alistair is at half now. He may be getting hit more soon. Oh, 
I locked Alpha. We're under. Okay, brief pause. Hopefully we'll be able to get some loot real quick. Well, all right. Duncan's fire, huh? You're not gonna loot the stuff back there before we move on? I'm I'm just going through a bunch of stuff. Ah, okay. Helmet. Whoa, what is that? The Dark Spawn Forge. Huh. You know, you know it's evil because it's got all the spikes. <laughs> I could do that for you. Ice arrow. These arrows run out so fast. Mm-hmm. Key is required. We had the key. As you desire. Elric's buried key. <laughs> Let's try that again. Excuse me. Oh, so it's a different key? Dead pups. Oh. Um, well, all right. Firestone harness. Oh, that's for our pup. Oh. What the heck? Oh shit. Oh, One, shit. two, three, oh, four, shit. five, oh, six. Shit. Oh my gosh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Um You saw the amount that's coming our way? No, I saw the fucking mage. Everyone dive into that mage. Fuck everything else. Wait, oh no, that's not a mage. He was just doing some weird shit. is under when is under shit when is under again he's just about to die she died it's always the fucking dogs we're halfway I have no doubt we're about to go under Our dog is under. Wynn is under. I mean, Eliliana. Oh, that was a last one. Alistair. He's under, but he's probably going to get him, huh? Yep. Just stab him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> right to his face. How did I get myself into this? Well, all right. 
Well, you got attacked by like 30 dogs. Mm. Ooh, Kaylin's <gasps> shield. Nice. Man. These dark spawn were really like yoink. Oh, she's going to be able to use that thing now, huh? Mm hmm. Right. The Darkspawn have done their best to defile the bonfire where Duncan kept his nightly watch. Perhaps they still sense something of the man's power. Goddamn right, the man was powerful as fuck. <laughs> Caitlyn's chest. Oh, that's what we came for. Wait, we should search the bodies. I saw something back there that might have been Caitlyn's. Yeah, I, I know, bud, but okay. Mm. That's the way to go then. So what's over here? Hey guys, we just had to go ahead and uh, handle our kids waking up again. <laughs> this is actually the next day they were like, uh, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we have fire on, lady? Oh, do you not have that? This was just after um, we had done another fight, right? Yeah, we're just in, in Ostagar again. Killing all these... Uh, like a fight with the... A fight with the what? Darkspawn? Yeah, we're just in, in here killing all the Darkspawn. Well, not all of them, but the ones in our way. <laughs> As you desire. What the heck? Are those like practice dummies to kill? Yeah. Ooh. Go on and take that, Liliana. Lesser injury kit. Oh, because she had died, right? Yeah. We had died too, huh? Yeah, but I think we healed ourselves. Oh. And so I shall. Lovely. What the heck? The f oh, I think you slipped on. Oh, oh no, you're getting a attacked. Ballista. Esther. Wait, a what? What's a ballista? She just got fucked up. <laughs> you see that thing flying? Yes. Oh! Oh, I hit our dog. You son of a bitch. You'll die for that one. You missed oh. you missed a You missed a corpse to loop back there, by the way. I'll get it right after this. Okay. Is there a wrestler named Ballista? Batista. Ah. Oof. Did we get get hit again? No, I just made win uh Earthquake. Oh which Alistair's a fucking beast and not falling to. <laughs> I 
he jinxed him. <laughs> nah, he got knocked down by the shield, not the earthquake. Oh, okay. Dang. Oop. Oh, that's the one, huh? I think you're funny, huh, motherfucker? Get him. <laughs> well, all right. You have all four of the lockpick things. Nothing should be locked to you anymore. <laughs> Sorry, random person. <laughs> Who's getting that? What is it that they throw rocks? Cool. Giant arrows. Oh. That's 40 arrows? Very nice. Nice, nice. Okay. It's done. Merrick's blade. Secret correspondence. I must know the T. A bundle of documents comprised mostly of private correspondence to and from King Kalen. Hmm. From the so king true. himself. He had Page the one of three. To ally against the dark spawn. Oh, wow. To his majesty, King Caelan of Ferelden. My warning commander assures me that we face the blight. The thing that threatens us both. Our oh. And we must work together to find it. To fight it. Lest it devour all. Our two nations have not had a happy history. But all, that is all it is. History. It is the future that is the state at stake right now. Let us put aside our father's disagreements. So that we may secure the future for both our countries. My chev chevalier stand ready and will accompany the great wardens of Orle to Ferelden. At your word, the might of Orle will march to reinforce the Ferelden forces. Sincerely, Emperor Selene L. Sounds like that jackass should have waited for Emperor Selene, huh? For real. But no, he listened to Loghain. Halen's documents, page two of three. Your majesty, my men will arrive as soon as possible to bolster your forces. Make or willing, the blight will be ended before it is begun. Kaelin, I beseech you, as your uncle, not to join the Grey Wardens on the field. You cannot afford to take this risk. Ferelden cannot afford it. Let me remind you again that you do not have an heir. Your death, and it pains me to even think of it, will plunge Ferelden into chaos, which it did. And yes, perhaps when this is over, you will allow me to bring up the subject of your heir. While a son from both the Theron and Mac Tur Mac Tyr lines would unite Ferelden like no other, we must accept that perhaps this can never be. The queen approaches her, her 30th year and her ability to give you a child lessens with each passing month. I submit to you again that it might be time to put Anora aside. We part, ha parted harshly the last time I spoke of this, but it had been a full year since then. It has been a few, full year since then and nothing has changed. Please, nephew, reconsider my words and Andraste's grace be with you. A letter from all Eamon of to King Caelan. Dang, you think, uh, oh, there's that one up here. You think Loghain found out about this and maybe that's why he put him to die? I've never, is, I've never done the Ostagar thing either. That is a very good possibility, actually. He Game of Thrones his ass? Read this letter was like, Psh, gonna leave my daughter. You damn crazy. Um, this letter appears to have been crumpled, then carefully smoothed out and folded again. Kaelin, the visit of Fer to Ferelden will be postponed indefinitely due to the Darkspawn problem. You understand, of course. The Darkspawn have odd timing, don't, le don't they? Let us deal with them first. Once that is done, we can further uh, discuss a permanent alliance between Orle and Ferelden. A note written in an uncharacteristically familiar tone from Empress Selene the first to King Kaelin. Wait. You remember hearing one of the bar rumors where they were saying that he was cheating on her? And that she might have found out or Tur Turin might have found out and that, that maybe that's why he died. That's seeming a lot more possible now. Like that Caitlyn was cheating with Selene? Yeah, because the house permanent alliances are between kingdoms are usually done by marrying. They ain't got no kids to marry off. Oh, well, I don't know if she does, but he don't. 
I did not even catch that. Oh, that's that's dang the drama. I like it. You dog. Oh, I think I think is this one. Stan has an eye for paintings, an appreciation that might seem out of character, but it's actually an extension of Kunari discipline. He respects an artist for careful com composition, a skill that is much about where the brush stroke stops as where it begins. Long ago, a soldier from Guaran was returning home after 20 years at war. He had sold his sword for passage to Denarum and had made had made his way through the Brazilian forest with nothing to his name but a single crust of bread. On his way, he met an old blind woodcutter sitting on a tree stump. Here is someone worse off than myself, said the soldier, and he gave the old man his last scrap of bread. The old man blessed him and gave the soldier his axe in return. The soldier went on his way and soon night fell. He made his bed in a tree branch and held the woodcutter axe at his side to ward against beasts and bandits. When the moon was high, he was awakened by the sound of weeping. Show yourself, he shouted. For a try as he might, the soldier could find no one nearby. Help me, spoke the tree in which he'd been sleeping. A, a mage transformed me into this shape and I will never be set free. If you had any pity... And you, yeah, if you had any pity in you, you would cut, you could, you would cut me down so that my spirit could go to the maker. So the soldier took up his axe and struck the tree. The cuts bled like wounds. Ugh. And so soon hot blood covered the axe and burned the soldier's hands. But he held tightly to the axe and felled the tree. The tree shattered when it hit the ground and from the splinters rose a demon who bowed to the soldier and vanished into the fade. The soldier was chilled to the bone and could not sleep. In the morning, he found that the axe still burned like the blood of the sylvan. But despite its heat, he could not get warm again. They say he ended his days in Guaran, cutting wood for his seven, seven fireplaces, shivering and cursing the spirits. What the heck? Celine was merely awaiting his response. A response that never came, and now never will, thanks to Loghain's treachery. Never is a long time, Alistair. Give it time, and let cooler heads prevail. There will be peace between us yet. Well, I hope you live to see it, Wim. And I hope the Darkspawn don't. I think that's the axe that he has on his back, but yeah, that dog, I mean, it would have been good for both kingdoms. Yeah. But still, bro, you could have at least like been like, hey, hey, this marriage is over, you know? Mm -hmm. I got this hot empress lady on me <laughs> over there, and you're not giving me any kids, so bye. But instead, you were a dog, bro. You don't do that. Where the hell do I get the key for that fucking chest? <laughs> oh, wait. How good is that sword? So then that tree in that story, he was, um, like, it was just the knack. It was just the demon needing to get free, which cursed him once it came out. I think so. Wow. That's unfortunate. What the <gasps> fuck? No way. I didn't think they were smart enough to do something like that. That's vicious. Oh, they did that. They're doing that old um, montage thing. Mm -hmm. To tug at the heartstrings. It's working. No. I think that'll be the thumbnail. We'll call it deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate, but true. We're so sad. Oh, he's laughing. Oh, what the heck? It's a fucking mage. <gasps> oh, why are you running? Goodness. Oh, wait, it's not a mage. That what one is, is a mage. That oh. one's a mage. Um, fucking kill that one, please. So it's those three, and then there's more coming behind them. There are and behind us! There a mage back there? There's not. Alistair, you're a mage killer. Go kill the mage. Doggo, go help him out. On it. Ooh, this is gonna be one rough fight. I can see it now. Ooh, those guys are big. Well, no, they're not big. It's just big armor, it looks like.
Oh, it's a skeleton mage. Damn, he's fucking wet up. <laughs> What's this? Get him! Go deal with that dog. <laughs> that walk for or that little run to this for luck felt like forever. Right. Yay! Wow. Actually, it was so simple because. None of them got to middle. Midlife. Dogs having an epic battle over there. Oh, what's he throwing? Oh, he's just using his sword. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Good job. You're a good boy. <laughs> All covered in blood. I shouldn't be surprised though because the battle music still not gone not uh gone. All right. Oh, there it ended. <laughs> All right. Well, when we come back, we'll go ahead and see what uh, the rest of this is about. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. We will catch you guys on the next one.